So in 7 and 8, I've shown you how to calculate the effective resistance of two arrangements of resistors. Now, in this topic, you will also need to calculate the currents and the voltages in a circuit. How do we do that? The formula we use is V is equal to IR. Now, how do you apply this formula? Now, if you have a circuit component, for example, a light bulb, and the light bulb has resistance R, and the current flowing through it is I, and the voltage across the light bulb is V, then these three quantities are related by the formula V is equal to I times R. So this formula V is equal to I times R can be applied to a single circuit component or it can be applied to the entire circuit. So now I'll show you two examples on how to apply this formula to the entire circuit and to individual circuit components. In 9B, we see a circuit consisting of a 9 volt electric cell, a 2 ohm resistor, and an 8 ohm resistor. These two resistors are arranged in series. Now, in this example, we are going to find the current I, the, volt, the PD V1 and the PD V2. How do we find these things? Now, to find the current I, we need to apply the formula V is equal to IR for the entire circuit. So finding I. V is equal to IR. We see that I is equal to V over R. Now, when we apply this formula to the entire circuit, I will be the total current that comes out of the electric cell, which is what we are finding here. V will be the, the total EMF of the circuit. And R will be the total resistance of the circuit. So in this example, you can see that the only source of electrical energy is the 9 volt electric cell and its voltage is 9 volt. So the EMF of the circuit is 9. The resistance of the circuit you can see is 2 plus 8. And so current I is 9 over 10 which is 0 0.9 ampere. This is how we calculate the current I. After we calculate I, let's calculate the voltage V1, which is a PD across the 2 ohm resistor. Now, to calculate V1, we need to apply the formula V is equal to IR to an individual circuit component. In this case, V is V1 which we want to calculate, I is the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor. What is this current? The current flowing out of the battery is I, which is 0 0.9 ampere. This is the same current that flows through the 2 ohm resistor. So I is actually 0 0.9. The R here is the resistance of the resistor which is 2. So V1 is equal to 1.8 volt. This is how we calculate V1. To calculate V2, we can use the same method, but there is a second method to calculate V2. Now the total EMF of the circuit is 9 volt. This tells you how much electrical energy is supplied. The total PD of the circuit is V1 add to V2. 
This tells you how much electric energy is being used. Now, the total EMF of a circuit must be equal to the total PD. So, 9 must be equal to V1 plus V2. Now, since we know that V1 is 1.8, so V2 is 7.2 volt. This is how we calculate V2. Let's go on to the second example. In this example, we have a 12 volt electric cell. We have a 2 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor in parallel. We need to calculate the current I1, I2 and I3. How do we do the calculation? Now, first of all, the, e the EMF of the circuit is 12 volt. That is because the voltage of the electric cell, which is the source of electric energy, is 12 volt. Now, as I said before, EMF tells you how much electrical energy is supplied. In this circuit, whatever electrical energy is supplied will be used by the circuit. And at your level, we take it that only the resistors will use electrical energy. We take it that the wires do not use any electrical energy. So that means the PD of this entire arrangement which tells you how much electrical energy is using must also be 12 volt. Now, there is something about parallel arrangements of resistors which you will need to know. 2 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, they are arranged in parallel. That means the PD across each branch is the same as the PD across the whole arrangement. So the PD across the whole arrangement is 12 volt. That means the PD across this branch is 12 volt. The PD across this branch is also 12 volt. So to calculate I2, We apply the formula V is equal to IR to the 2 ohm resistor. I is equal to V over R. Now, V here is the PD across the 2 ohm resistor, and that is equal to 12 volt. R here is the resistance of the 2 ohm resistor, which is 2. So we get 6. Ampere. This is I2. Now, for I3, is similar. The PD across the 4 ohm resistor is also 12 volt. Its resistance is 4 ohm. So, Therefore, the current is 3 ampere. Now, as you can see, I1 is the current flowing out from the electric cell. When it comes to the junction here, it splits into I2 and I3. So therefore, I1 is the sum of I2 and I3. So I1 is equal to 6 plus 3, a total of 9 ampere. So this is how you calculate the three currents.